Hello and welcome to a presentation about the Foreman Data Center plugin. This presentation was originally presented at the uh, Config Management Camp 2018, but we thought it would be great to also have it on the internet. So here we go. Um, the Foreman Data Center plugin, as uh, the name says, is adding data center documentation to the best bare metal orchestration tool in the open source market. A little bit about us first. The Foreman Data Center plugin comes from Cloud Develops, where we've been using Foreman for a couple of years now, and uh, we had a lot of struggle with uh, maintaining good documentation for the bare metal orchestration, as well as uh, the virtual machines, which uh, Foreman does very well on its own. When we were looking into current solutions of how to document our hardware, um, there weren't really any good open source options that we found. Um, the closest thing that we could really find was uh, shared sheets, which uh, caused many issues. With shared sheets, you either have uh, some kind of uh, LibreOffice document that you share in uh, Git. So, you know, the plus of that is you have uh, version control and stuff like that. But Git conflicts are very bad. But readability is also a very big concern. And the worst problem of all is many manual actions. Because if you add an interface, a connection between two devices, you now have to update multiple sheets, multiple numbers just uh, to change that. And the worst scenario is if you delete a switch, for example, and then you need to manually go and disconnect this device and disconnect this connection to the switch from all of the other devices that were reliant on the switch before, which is annoying at least. Before we developed the Foreman Data Center plugin, we used a basic sheet that we shared in Git, as I told you before. Um, this, as I said, is not readable at all absolute jumble of characters, absolute nightmare, all kinds of uh, weird information that is probably not even related to anything, but it's just there because uh, where else would we put it, right? Well, that's why we went to do Foreman Data Center plugin. As I said before, the goals of the DC plugin is to have virtual machine and bare metal documentation all in one place. It was also desirable to be easy to make and publish changes and automating as much of the stuff as we can. And also, most importantly, making it simple for the new guys at our job. And now for the demo. Here we have a very small installation of Foreman. We see that we have a couple of hosts in here. Uh, most of them are failing, but it doesn't really matter. We have a couple of uh, virtual machines, a couple of bare metals and stuff like that. Um, the data center plugin, after you install it, comes right here in the menu. And you can see many uh, pieces of the plugin that are necessary for us to work. The first things first, sites. Sites are basically your data centers. Maybe you manage multiple data centers, so you just add a couple of them. There's nothing really interesting. You just add facilities, physical addresses and stuff like that. We also have some stats about the site. Nothing too interesting. After sites, we have racks. Obviously, racks are just uh, groups or shelves for servers where we can just put our machines. We can see there's already one rack with a couple of hosts here. We see that we set a custom size of eight U's. We have four devices occupying this. Uh, this host, for example, is occupying multiple U's, but only on the right side. This is specifically made for blade configuration type of servers. If we actually want to add a new server, we'll have to go all the way down to manufacturers. Um, here we have a couple of uh, manufacturers already pre-filled by uh, Foreman itself, because if you have facts exporting into Foreman, it will uh, take all this information from your bare metal machines and put it in here. So if it de detects that you have a switch of this and that kind, then it will just work. We can see Cisco here. We have one device type. Another thing, if you go to device types, we see there's the Cisco switch that I've actually manually configured. But here we have some kind of device type that's actually imported from Foreman Facts, Supermicro X8DTL, which uh, has some information that Foreman managed to import. When we have a set device type, we also care about device roles. When we click that, we see that we have servers, switches and routers. This is um, this is really nothing interesting. It's just for uh, documentation on your level. It doesn't do anything in the data center plugin itself. After this, we can move on to the actual devices. In the devices, we can see the actual servers we have implemented 
or we have in our racks in the data center plugin. Let's create a new device then. We can either go to the menu, click new device and just fill in everything manually as we would do. Or we can use this magical button called import from host, which lets us uh, select a host already orchestrated or managed by foreman. For example, Ubuntu one, which is actually a virtual machine, but we will just use it for a purpose as a bare metal. You can see that the device row is pre-filled with server, the hardware information already imported from foreman, nothing too interesting. And then we can actually choose the location. Let's select the only data center and the only rack we have front rack face and full side um, position will be four and size only one use let's submit and now we can go to racks select rack zero one and we will see that on position for you we have ubuntu one cloud develops lan very nice this is only documentation for the actual hardware of how it's placed in um the racks themselves, but the most important and best thing about this this plugin, in my opinion, is all the interfaces. We already see that uh, the foreman imported some interface, um, and three the default interface with some IP address, and we can now go and connect this um, interface to some other port. For example, let's choose rack zero one, uh, the main switch, and choose the interface ether zero, ether one even. Submit. And there we go, it's connected to the switch. If we uh, look at the switch, we can see that it's indeed connected here, the IP address of the server. It all works as expected. We can also just uh, mark as planned, as in we are going to connect this, but it's not connected yet. We can also just uh, delete the connection, obviously. If we are going to delete the connection, or more importantly, if we are going to uh, remove the entire server, we can just do this very easily by cl clicking delete right here. If we delete it and then take a look at the switch, then we will see that the interface is already disconnected, which makes working with this plugin much easier because you don't have to click a million devices whenever you delete a networking device. Another very interesting thing about the DC plugin is that we can add a management device very easily here. For example, uh, let's say we are adding another IPMI device. We can add a console URL. Let's say HTTP 1001 gets us to uh, the management IP address of the server. And we can say that the login is root and root. If we submit, we will see that whenever someone opens this uh, device in the data center tab, he will be prompted with the console URL and he will also uh, be able to see the login for the console for the out of band management, which is very nice and makes it very easy to know how you can connect to out of band management of a given server and how you can reboot it, for instance, when monitoring calls you. And that's about as much as I can show to you. Obviously, there's a lot of work to do. We are working on this every day because we use it a lot and we see a lot of room for improvement. However, we've been using this plugin for a few months and it's helped our documentation very much. So please, if you liked what you saw and you have a Debian based distribution, just run apt-get install Ruby Foreman Data Center and you should be running the latest version of Foreman Data Center plugin. Or if you are on any other distribution or you want to build the latest code, you can just go to the Foreman Foreman Data Center repository. You can also submit issues and potentially pull requests there. Big thanks to the original developer Pavel Ivanov and current maintainer Eugene Moginov and obviously the Foreman team for helping us a lot and adding the Debian package to their main repository. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions or any concerns, please uh, submit an issue or comment under the video. Thank you and have a nice day.